Crochet techniques. The linked double crochet stitch. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your crochet skills right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five crochet tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A crochet hook and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com in the color Oxford Gray. The linked double crochet is a variation of the double crochet stitch and it creates a much more close and tighter fabric than a traditional double crochet which tends to have little gaps in between each of the post stitches. The nice thing about this stitch is you still get the height of a double crochet stitch but you don't get the uh, airiness or the openness of the traditional double crochet. So this makes this great for projects where you normally use double crochet but you want a little bit more dense fabric but not the bulk of something like a single crochet stitch. So let me show you how we do this. Alright, to begin the linked double crochet we're going to chain three to get the same height that we want just like a normal double crochet. All right, and then we need to do sort of a prep stitch here for the rest of the row. So we're going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook, and then we're gonna yarn over and draw through. So this still gives us the two loops on our hook, just as if we were to yarn over first, um, but it's gonna attach it to that side. Then we're gonna go into the next stitch, yarn over and draw through a loop, and we've got three loops on our hook now, so we'll work this as a normal double crochet. Yarn over and draw through two, and then yarn over and draw through two. So that creates our prep stitch at the beginning of the row. For the actual linked double crochet stitch, we're going to, for step one, insert our hook into this horizontal bar. We can see it's right here, and we're going to go from top to bottom. And for step two, we're going to yarn over and draw a loop through that horizontal bar. For step three, we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch in our row. And for step four, we'll yarn over and draw through another loop. Okay, so we've got three loops on our hook. Step five, we'll yarn over and draw through two. And step six, we'll yarn over and draw through two more. So let's do that again. We're going to insert our hook into the horizontal bar right here on the side. Okay, this is what's linking those stitches together. We're going to go right through here, yarn over and draw through a loop. Then we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over and draw through, and then we're going to yarn over and draw through two, and yarn over and draw through two more. So there we go. That's how we do the linked double crochet stitch. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day, and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, new stitch a day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!